What's by This is Jaden, and welcome back to a new reaction video. And today we are reacting to Prison Break Season 1 Episode... Prison Break Season 4 Episode 2, uh, Breaking and Entering. Let's see what's going to go on. So far, the first episode was really good. I really enjoyed the first episode. Um, so, let's see what happens in Episode 2. Um, we found out that we were going to take down the entire company, and I feel like it's just dark. I don't know. I feel like it's dark in my room. I don't know. Anyway. But yeah, we're going to take down the company. Let's see if we do it. I'm excited for this entire uh, season. Um, so yeah, we're getting on season four. Very excited. And uh, and yeah. So it's called episode two, Breaking and Entering. Full reaction on Patreon. Los Angeles. Of course, it's Los Angeles. Layers, see layers. That's what I like about the show. It's not. It's not it's super. Clear. Go ahead. Listen clear what's going on. Burles and Schofield have been transferred. That's Black Lightning. That's definitely him. So there's no more questions. Let's get to work on finding Scylla. What about that second step? What about the break-in? You let me worry about step two. Okay, you just worry about finding Scylla. I've got an idea where to start. That's excellent, Alexander. See, there's a man who's thinking. First, I think I'll just go ahead and grab that SS bedroom if that's cool. Sir? Yeah? You take the boat. You know, when, when this, is, this is all done, you and me, we're gonna settle up. What did he do to you? He did kill your dad, but come on, Michael's not acting like that. Right. He's actually trying to help. Obviously, there's a lot of history in this room. That's a given. But if we're going to pull this off, it's going to take all of us. we got to work together. So if anyone has a problem, get it out now. Bulletproof signing. His suit, his suit. You don't buy a suit like that on a cop's salary or pulling weekend gigs as a driver. <laughs> that means he's full-time, he's highly paid. You ask our friend, Mr. Self. To Everyone here has a special skill set. Got the medic. Five-year-old white males in Los Angeles. Cop guy. Drawing a military. FBI guy. And taking six figures from a private security company. Due to the fact it always means toward the south. Inside the delicious fruit which will fill our bellies. Plus, we find out which way is south. We're gonna find out which way is north, Brenda. <laughs> Tell you what. Why don't we uh, rest here for a while, huh? We'll travel at night when it's cooler. That sounds good. Oh, she whipped you too. I mean, obviously, but still. Well, she did that. She did that for her own enjoyment. She's psychotic. It's so obvious when someone is following you. Because even when, no, even oh, looks like private security. Like I can even when I'm like in the passenger of a car and there's someone else behind us following us for a very long Slow time. Slow down. I can tell. Thing we gotta get. His name is Stuart Tuxhorn and he's a CEO of a company oh, called okay. Spectroleum. Heavy hitter like that's gonna have security 24 so. I love how everyone's tripping in. Anyone knowing it's gone, right? So even if he's got it on him, how do they get it off him? I'm thirsty. You don't steal the car. You copy it. Oh, now you're interested in what I gotta say, right? Copying it will make it harder. Not only you have to steal it, you have to return it, genius. Only if you don't got me, hombre. This guy's corny. What's that? This is the reason I got busted. Oh, you stole the cell phone? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I'm looking at federal time because I stole the cell phone. Seriously. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Uh. I invented this so that I don't have to steal. It looks like a cell phone, but it's really like a digital black hole. Wireless hard drive sucks stuff up. any electronic data within 10 feet of it. Yes, good. To kill? Well, you're on board, we can issue the op order today. 10,000 to kill? Sucre, you're on. Oh. Good luck. If he was any closer, he'd be in the car. <laughs> I get your little act, Pedro. Hit the brakes. Not Pedro. You pay for damage you don't intend to fix.
Uh, you're really car shopping? Can I help you? So how did you find me? I never lost you. The, uh, the new nose threw me a bit, but what do you want, Don? I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm not going to make it. We just got to keep... Gotta keep talking, Sancho. Watch the both of us die out of here. When one of us can help the other one survive, you don't. He's gonna to eat him. <laughs> Make it quick. I promise. Oh, oh, Sancho. <gasps> He's dead. You're gonna eat him. <gasps> oh, you ate Sancho. That's my stuff. Oh, you didn't eat him yet. Oh, you're gonna burn him to to make a to you know a oh, smell. No power can fight her. All that avails is flight. That's Homer. It's from the Odyssey. Is this from my mm. father's folder? Yeah, and it explains why Scylla sounded so familiar. If I'm not mistaken, it's the from Odyssey. that chapter in the book where Odysseus is told he has to confront a monster known as Scylla. Wonder why he wrote this down. I could be wrong, but I believe Odysseus is told that in order to continue on his path to pass Scylla, it'll require the sacrifice of six of his men. His only other alternative really? is to abandon his path, and he... Well, there's six of you guys. Sacrifice. Seven with that other dude, but six of the main people. Bellic, Mahon, Michael, One, I'm not sure Sarah, Sucre. To sacrifice a whole bunch of people? So listen carefully. What does she know? If you even remotely value your friend's life, you're going to use your security code to access the records for prisoner transfers. Oh. Tell me where they sent Michael Schofield and Lincoln Burroughs. I, uh, I can never find a good bag. I'm a teacher and I have books and grading materials and I should probably go ahead and just invest in a wagon one of these days. <laughs> Yeah, that's why I love this bag. It has so many pockets. Do you mind if I take a look? Oh, no. Thanks. Why would you even do that? Hey, what's wrong, man? Eat some bad Mexican? <laughs> Something like that. Oh. Oh, he did eat him. Same as yesterday, right on schedule. How are you gonna? We can't. They're gonna have Sucre steal it. How we doing? Still don't got it. It's in there. So is the is it gonna is this it's being sucked out? Like there's not gonna be any memory on it anymore. It's almost Captain. Almost, almost. Come on, come on, come on, come on. It's gonna stop at like eighty percent. They got it. They got it. Right, ma'am thank you so much for your help okay what was that like a red herring <clears throat> you're gonna steal her bag oh hey, stop. Wait here. you guys are traumatizing this poor lady okay Bella I think you're good Oh. I can't read the content without downloading the device, but unless this touchdown's really? got like a 50,000 hour TiVo, then yeah, I think we got it. They're asking for the impossible. No, what I'm asking for is confidence, okay? I'm not the one who put the entire mission in the hands of a damn maid. <laughs> Look, if the company finds that copy of Scylla before we do, that's it, Michael. That's what is all inside good. the they're gonna find black out box? Behind it and they're going to ghost us, all of us. Are you okay? Yeah. That quote from the Odyssey. What about it? Just can't shake that line. All that avails is flight. What if flight is our only option, Mike? To flee? What if our father, after everything he discovered about the company, what? What the heck? Where are they going? <laughs> are they breaking in now? Oh, wow. Okay. I don't know. Maybe not. 
but they do like I think like sometimes when it's pitch black they film daytime scenes in like TV shows and movies oh come on there did be no alarms oh see I bet they're gonna be in and out before they even get there please we can't okay oh they, did they get it at least no, I think they ran oh that that was the distraction like what time is it supposed to be? I don't. This doesn't look natural. Uh oh. Where's he coming from? It's across the street. Oh, it was across the street. Oh, there it is. There it is. Now get out. But don't be like. You gotta get out. Why is he there? Oh no. He does not need to be there right now. Oh, especially his son. Look. Uh, Bruce is gonna die. Don't turn around unless you'd like to experience a great deal of pain. Is the answer to a simple question? Where That's are not that simple. Schofield and Lincoln Burroughs. I know you've been in contact with Sarah Tancredi. I swear to you, I, I have no idea where they are. Oh, look, he's gonna I die. We'll see about that. <laughs> oh. Luck, Teddy. Who needs luck when you got friends like you fellas, huh? <laughs> I can't believe he's still in the show, to be honest. Oh, he's going to Los Angeles now. So, um, I'll just leave it at this. I'm here. Whenever you want to talk, I'm here. Because you're still married to a Russian stripper. Well, A, oh, I've been yeah. a little busy. And B, I'm pretty sure she was Czech. Mike. Huh. What's wrong? Whatever it is, it ain't it. I don't understand. I thought you said we copied the card. No, we did. But according to the encryption code... Okay, how do I make this clear? If, if Scylla was like a pizza, all we got's a slice. So where's the rest of the data? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I, I mean, I don't know how we didn't see this coming. I mean, it, it, it makes perfect sense. It's like the nuclear launch codes. You don't. Yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a whole bunch. Person. Yeah. How many did you give it to? Okay, that quote your father held on to. Six. In the Odyssey, six Sela people. Is a six-headed monster that requires a sacrifice of six soldiers in order to pass. So still isn't one card. Six. It's six. Michael. You're right. Hmm. Yeah. That's worrisome. Fine. That's worrying. All the security makes you wonder what the company's hiding. The only way to know for sure is to find those five other cards, see for ourselves. Think we'll have enough time? Yeah. Oh man, but we didn't see anything happen to him though. It's just like, is he like slowly dying? So there's so much going on, like. There's a whole bunch of questions, and that's what I missed about this show. Each episode kind of, each episode gave you a little bit, but then they also gave, they also made sure you were questioning a whole lot. So that was episode two, breaking and entering. Um, I liked it. I I like how each episode is kind of contained. Each episode kind kind of has a contained storyline. I mean, it's all going to a bigger picture, but. We're not waiting six episodes just to break in. Like we did it. This we did. We did the plan. This episode. We broke in. This episode. We got the data. This episode, and we found out um, that we need more data. This episode. I feel like. Oops. Sorry. I feel like if it was season one or two, we would have been planning on breaking in. We would have broken. Next episode, we would have retrieved it. The next episode, we would have. That's what happened with the tapes. With the tapes of the pres, the vice, the the president, the vice. The tapes of Caroline and Terrence Stedman that we found like episodes went by. We we got the tape. We were looking for the tape. We got it. The next episode, they listened to the tape, and then the next episode, we actually we actually heard the tape. It took us like three episodes just to figure out that they were having some freaky stuff going on, you know. But but this entire episode, it was all one contained story. We got our stuff going on, and now we got to figure out what to do next episode. I really enjoyed that.
Um, I really enjoyed that aspect of it. But yeah, that was breaking and entering. And um, let's go. Let's go. I'm excited to continue watching this. I yeah, season three kind of season three kind of rubbed me the wrong way. But this season has redeemed itself in my eyes. I was getting kind of worried that this show was getting worse. But it only had that, that I'm kind of that's what I'm kind of uh oh they have Curious George on Hulu. I used to watch that all the time when I was younger. Oh man. I'm I'm getting kind of worried for vampire diaries because the last like six episodes of season three weren't all that great to me. I'm getting kind of worried because it's a CW show and I watch a lot of CW shows that progressively gotten worse. The Flash. I love The Flash. The Flash is like The Flash is my favorite super, like show. It's my favorite show at all. And there are shows it, it's kind of weird how I look at The Flash because there are shows that I think are better than The Flash, but it's still my favorite show. Anyway, The Flash kind of went downhill. Legends kind of Legends actually stayed consistent. It had its ups and downs, but overall, Legends of Tomorrow still a really great show. N- even if a season was bad, no bad season. The Flash had some bad seasons. Legends of Tomorrow, no bad seasons. I would say that. Uh, what, Arrow, I stopped watching around season 5. I still have not completed season 5. Season 5 got a little too political for me. And not even a, in a bad way. I did really like the po- the politicalness. Like the whole gun. Gun. Like the whole uh, Second Amendment type stuff they had. Gun control stuff. I really enjoyed that episode. But I, that, I don't want that to be all Arrow was about. I don't want politics in my arrow. He was in the main. He was, uh, and it made sense. There were a whole lot of politics because of the mayor, because Oliver was mayor. But anyway, this, the, I'd never completed. I never finished Arrow. Um, what other show on CW? That's about it. I didn't. I don't. I haven't watched a whole bunch of CW shows. Um, even though I like to say I watch a whole bunch of CW, I really haven't. But um. What else? But Vampire Diaries, I I feel like, I feel like it'll go. It's gonna go downhill. I mean, I'm still gonna enjoy it. I'm still gonna like it, but I feel like it's not gonna be as good as the first two or three seasons. That's how I, that's how I'm gonna look at it. Cause we're going on to season four. Like I said last episode, we're going on to season four and a whole bunch of my reactions. But um. But yeah, Prison Break really just had one bad season, um, which was season three, and they're coming back up, um. But anyway, let's go ahead and I'm going to react to the third episode very soon. So I want to say thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.